What an awesome animal. What do you think, man? This oh, is I your love first it. time. I, like... You know, it's one of those things I can I can completely understand, especially after taking an animal like this, how guys get it going and how you can how you can get into this this sport and yeah i mean like we said earlier half the fun was spotting them working that cut bank try sneaking up on them finally got them we were patient and that pressure of like we had that weight and that patience is so key you know instead of just trying to get in there bust them and just run like we sat there forever and then it kind of like it lets you relax which is awesome you're like okay they don't know i'm here so i have time right but then you still have that little bit of pressure that builds up inside of you oh yeah where you're you want to make that shot happen because you're like okay i get a i get a crack at yep. this you know yeah and uh it's a very cool feeling it's it's a hard really hard to put words on it yeah no it's a, i mean you know i'm just thinking all the thoughts that were going through my head when we when they we got up over the hill they're not there. We kind of are confused as to where they might have gone. Yep. You kind of have a little bit of a letdown because you're excited putting the sneak on. And then and then you spotted them, spotted antlers or whatever you saw there. And I was still glassing through through my scope <laughs> trying to figure out. And then once I saw they were there, then the heart rate started going up again. <laughs> yes, dude. And uh, then it was like, all right, we got a chance at go time here. That's amazing. Yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. What an above, awesome morning. Above, above average goat here. What an awesome like, morning. Man, what an adventure, dude. Yeah. Like, and it's so much fun to be able to, I mean, to haul for us out here, seven hour drive, you know, like it's all part of it. Like the truck just loaded down with oh, gear yeah. and food. Yeah. And yeah. Like, you buy a crappy hotel room yeah. and no, that's... Like, it's just so part of it. Like it's just in doing it with a friend, you know, and uh, that's the fun. Yeah. That's the fun. I definitely appreciate you guys taking me and showing me how to get this heck yeah dude well it's like one of your things like jeff has four four boys at home yep you know and you mentioned like so jeff and, and, and you know, you were a, a football player yep you know in college and your wife was a stud volleyball player in college and like you mentioned like yeah one of your boys isn't showing a ton of interest in sports like yeah but he loves archery yep like that no. just goes to show you like how cool is that like there's so many other avenues for kids that aren't traditionally thought about that yeah. I mean, I think about growing up and doing all the hunting with my dad. Like that's, that was awesome. Well, like, and that, so, that's so yeah. blessed about it, you know. Yeah, no, I completely agree, and that's what's fun for me, and that's why it's fun to come out with guys like you who have experience. Because, you know, if you really want to get into this, it's it's really all about just learning. And it's kind of know? daunting for a guy to, yeah. how do how do I apply for the tags? Where do I go? Yep. Like, what gear do I buy? Yep. And then just how do like, yeah, learning every time you sneak or stock, like you kind of learn these little, like, these little tips. Like I remember the first time I started hunting with my buddy Justin down in New Mexico, like just soaking in all of his elk knowledge. It's like every yeah. time you did something, you just kind of soak these yep. little things up on how to maneuver lay of the land and how the animals act. Like, yeah. just keep building that knowledge every time you go out. And it's know? just like anything else. Like if you're gonna learn, it's it's good to start with a great foundation of the principles behind it. And, right. You know, to be able to learn myself at 37 years old, but then to be able to teach a nine, 10, 11 year old. and like How uh, cool you know, is that gonna be to be able to start doing that? Well, and the thing that's really awesome is I just look at this as a first experience for me and then it's, you know, I can look off into the future and know that I have four boys that I can share this with and this type of adventure and this type of experience for a long, long time. Yeah, that's pretty special, man. Like, there's not much else like that. No, there's really not. There's really not. If I, if I go try to play basketball with them, I'm out for three days with sore yeah. knees, sore hips, and, and I'm horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, Whereas this, like, yeah. man, I hope we're all doing this with our boys when we're 85. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, that's... The yeah. whole goal, and that's the whole reason why Run to Gun even got started, was to prolong guys' hunting careers, to be able to hunt long into their their age, to be able to do it with their grandkids. Yeah, you know no, that's I, the whole point. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. It's been. A